Good evening, good afternoon, or good morning, whichever suits you best. I'm probably back a lot sooner than you expected me. To be fair, I'm back a lot sooner than I expected me. So, you know, there's that. Anyways, uh, I, I've gotten quite a few things done today, so I figured I'd go ahead and just show off. Uh, first of all, I've updated all of my particle beams that I showed off yesterday. Um... <clears throat> I've added a little more detail into them. Uh, I've also slightly changed the model for my Class B and my Class C versions. Um, I left the model mostly the same for my Class A, um, with one exception, which it's, it's a change that I made to all of them. Um, but I just wanted to slightly differentiate the Class B and Cs uh, with a slightly updated model just to make them, uh, I don't know, just to differentiate them. I feel like they're some of the coolest weapons I've made, so I, I just want, wanted to make sure that I uh, exasperated that, I guess. Uh, anyways, we'll just go ahead and we'll... Uh, first of all, let's delete those. Let's load that. And we'll just show, show off some of the changes. Um, I've also gotten all of my new manual fire lasers uh, into the game. Um, and I've also made a new, so I already had a satellite dish, um, in my, in the equipment tab. Now I have a second satellite dish in the equipment tab. The first one has four different variants. This, the new one only has one variant and it only needs one variant. Um, and I will show you why here in a minute, but first, of all, um, these are my new manual fire lasers. Um, not quite as fancy as my particle beam weapons. Um, you know, they don't have any, like, crazy rotating parts or anything. And that might change at some point, but, but at least not for now. But these are the Class Bs. Um, the Class As are pretty much the same, except they've got green um, lighting and the model number is different. Uh, and the Class C's are pretty much the same, except they have red lighting and, um, or no, I'm sorry, blue lighting. And uh, their model number is obviously different. But other than that, they're, they're all pretty similar. Um, I have not created new projectiles yet for those. I did, however, create new projectiles for my particle beams. Like I said, my Class A particle beams, they still look basically the same. Uh, but these Class Bs, I've added this circular disc here to connect the front and the back. Um, and there's just a little bit more detail, I guess, in, your, in the model. Uh, the other thing that I've done is there is now multiple rotations going on here in the barrel. You've got the outer rotation, and then you've got the magnetic coils inside rotating in opposite directions um, in, at a slower rate than the exterior is rotating. It's just a, it definitely gives it a lot more visual flair here when you're up close. Um, so there's that. And then uh, that's the Class Bs. I've also fixed the flickering light lighting issue on all of my like shield boosters and everything. Um, the issue was just I had too many light sources, um, and they were overlapping and fighting for the right to shine down. So there's the smaller shield booster. As you can see, no light flickering. Um, here are my Class C particle beams and. They have the same changes in the barrels with the magnetic coils rotating at different rates. But you can see it's now a dual barrel weapon instead of a single barrel. Um, and the barrels rotate in opposite directions. It was just a little detail that I thought would be kind of neat to do. Um, I, hope, I hope you guys appreciate that. I think it's pretty cool. Um, and then I've also gone ahead and I made this new satellite dish here. And the reason I said you only need one variant, variant is because it's a scanning satellite dish and it rotates. Um, I figured now that I figured out the rotating, I could do this. So 
It's still the same satellite dish model. It's just that it, this one rotates. Um, anyways, I hope all of that looks pretty cool to you guys. Um, and it will be in my next update. I figure my next update will probably... I'll probably be ready to release it in two to three weeks. Uh, I still have quite a bit of work left to do on uh, interiors. Um, I still have to finish my um, hangar bay. I also may have found a way to fix the actual elevator function for the hangar bay, which I need to try out. Um, and then I don't need to, but I want to because I would like to have it be an elevator function instead of just a ramp. But, uh, we'll see. We'll see, uh, what happens, um, if I can get that working. I have an idea on how to get it to work, though, so I'm gonna at least try it. But, uh, that's all I have for today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, or have had a wonderful day, and, I hope you have a great week, and I'll probably be at least a week before I have another video out. Uh, tomorrow I'm probably going to be playing the game. I still have some stuff to do in Shattered Space. Um, but I had some ideas today that I felt, felt like I had to do, so... Uh, and I think they turned out pretty cool. Um, I hope you guys feel the same way, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.